The other great thing about the products is that it gives you enough hold where you don't have to rely so much on so many pins. But it doesn't look like your, um, your updo is doused in product either. It just gives you a nice clean finish. So basically, um, you can kind of you know, tell by the partings where I kind of started with this. Obviously, I'm working backward. So and just a reminder, this is all formed with towel right. that we used on dry. So this is where I ended. So you're basically beginning with um, partings from ear to ear. And you're working with the back half first. And then you have these four panels in the front that kind of create that crisscross and around to conceal everything that's happening here. So now you have your front all taken care of. This back is composed of four parts. So you have your nape, um, and then two panels, and the very crown kind of covering everything and concealing it. So in the nape, you have your base that was created by um, braiding the nape away so that you would have something to kind of pin into that would keep this nice and secure without any back combing or anything that would add too much volume here because this look was supposed to be very close to the head other than that. So this is my third piece here. So again, the back was broken down into three sections. So those are my four panels up front. And then this is the follow-up to that, so this laid over here. And as this was brought over, you're kind of allowing it to just kind of cup and just anchoring it with a pin and just conceal your ends into the side where you can kind of just tuck it away with a red tough comb. So you can see how this is kind of draping this way, this one this way, and then this one over the center to hide any gap that you may have created right here. I get all these pieces that were draped over out of the way, you can see what happened in the nape, which is the part that I really liked. Um, you create this little braid here. Yeah. yeah. So that you can pin into that little cushion. Mm -hmm. So this is just French braided back and forth and just anchored with a couple of bobby pins so that you can flip this under and have a nice cushion to kind of pin yeah. into. Yeah, that's cool. um, the other thing that was really great during the first portion of the class that day, um, when we did the sewing technique, um, you don't have to use any pins to create that. So it'll last all day, you don't have to worry about um, pins poking out. What do you mean it's French braided back and forth? So you French braided this way and then just braid the ends of it? Exactly, and then just anchor it down. Um, the other thing that's really great about using that technique, if you have clients that have super crazy thick hair and you don't need half of that hair, braid it all away, pin it nice and flat to the head, and work with whatever else you need to work with to create that look. Otherwise, you find that sometimes you use um, bobby pins and they just literally pop back out because they're trying to hold so much hair into that look. Just get rid of it and work with what you actually need to. Um, <laughs> if you're doing this on the side, like what we did in class, we did more of like a retro wave, and we needed to anchor like literally right here onto the side of her face. We took this whole section around the ear and just braided it into a circle, sewed that down, and that was our base to create a look right down the side and everything was super secure and closer to the head instead of it turning into a mountain of hair on the side of the head, which happens a lot sometimes when you do those side looks. Um, so yeah, it was pretty simple. Just create your base, divide these into those three sections, bring that under, secure it with a pin, Take your ends, tuck it in with your rat tail onto the side, and then use your um, temple panels to kind of come across there, anchor that in, and then finish off all of your work that you've been, you know, pinning into the sides and conceal that with those top panels and wrap it around. So that's pretty much it. That's a lot of